Here we go again, everybody. Welcome back to 3D Arcade for another one of our FBL Friends Battle League Draft League Battles. If you guys missed the last battle, it went up on Wednesday. No, it's Thursday. I'm recording this the same day. <laughs> it's Thursday. It went up probably Thursday, maybe Friday against the Bag, also known as Leo. And the long story short of it is I have taken over a position in the Friends Battle League of someone who was no longer able to carry on. They started off with a 1-2 record, and we are here. At this time, I have not done our fourth match, but this is the team builder for our fifth match against Cool Cat. Let me know what you guys thought of the last battle down below and what you think of this one after this one's done. But first, let's go over the team builder. If you guys missed the team last time, we were rocking out with Necrozma, Keldeo, Rotom Heat, Inteleon, Toxicroak, Decidueye, Gardevoir, Gallade, Shuckle, Lycanroc, Midnight Form, and Lurantis. So we do have a little bit of a shakeup, but we have three returning members for this matchup. Real quick, let's talk about Cool Cat's team. In case you guys missed it, these yellow Pokemon are the team I'm bringing with us. So, you know, full disclosure, we're bringing Necrozma, Keldeo, Inteleon, Toxicroak, Decidueye, and Lurantis. So if you come down here and look at Cool Cat's team, you can see Cool Cat is rocking out with Tyranitar, Slowbro, Reuniclus, Duraludon, Avalug, Rune Regis, Glossopod, Rotom Moe, Steelix, Trevenant, and Colossal. Now we have two kind of somewhat fast Pokemon here. I mean, I guess Duraludon's okay. So we have <laughs> Duraludon and Tyranitar are kind of mixed and Rotom Mo is pretty fast. But the other thing you notice is the other eight Pokemon on this team are Trick Room Pokemon, including three Trick Room setters to prep for. Could bring multiple Trick Room setters. We got Slowbro, Uniclus, and Trevenant, all of which I am kind of nervous about, but I feel the best able to handle, handle Slowbro. So what we've prepped for here is a uh, Reuniclus and Rotom Mo, not Rotom Mo, <laughs> Reuniclus and Trevenant team. Uh, which is funny because he's my evolved mascot go figure right so looking at his weaknesses and what i think i can hit uh he can hit rock types 10 ways this sunday almost every pokemon on his team is super effective has a super effective ability against a rock type so like in rock midnight had to stay out of this fight i'm hoping he's the mvp in the fight against leo but i'm doing that fight in about two hours so we'll know i'll know then you guys already know of course but i expect him to bring a trick room team he's brought trick room every week he's on four battles uh, I'm his fifth, so I'm I'm just expecting it. So I am prepping for Reuniclus and uh, Trevenant to come because he brought Slowbro and Reuniclus last week. At least I think he did <laughs> against uh, Bennett Bandit, the person who organizes the league. So I'm expecting Steelix, Reuniclus, Trevenant, Rotom Mo, Duraludon, and Tyranitar. And really, that's just kind of because it's what I can hit the least. Um, he does have a pretty big fighting type weakness, so we have some advantages there and a couple of our fighting types, but he also has some dark types and some ghost types, so I'm leaving Gallade behind and bringing Toxicroak and our boy Keldeo in the front. So we're just going to kind of go through their team, talk about who I'm planning to hit how and what's going on here. Um, it's kind of a weird team. Our team is pretty fast. Trick Room has a problem. I only have one solution if Trick Room gets up other than, you know, try to stay alive. So we're going to see what's happening here. But first, let's go over how the matchups are going to break out for us. So you can see right here, we've got Steelix. We've got their whole team and their expected speeds. Their speeds are pretty slow. Here's our expected speeds right here. You can see that we pretty much outspeed everything given the choices. Uh, Rotom Mo and Duraludon are probably going to be in the 190s. So those are kind of iffy. They're, you know, Decidueye is going to get outsped and Lorantis is going to get outsped. Um, but we kind of need a couple of mons that are going to be slower so we can take out those mons if they're heavy hitting us, right? So here is how the breakdown is going to go. We have Steelix here. I'm kind of expecting Stealth Rock body press because his defense is stupid high. 200 base defense. Earthquake and Curse. So I'm sending in Keldeo. We've made a switch from last week. Last week we ran Secret Sword. This week we're running Aura Sphere. So we have a special type move that actually hits special because Steelix's special defense is much, much, much lower. And our backup on that is going to be Necrozma with Heat Wave and Decidueye with Leaf Storm. So those are both pretty good backups. We basically only don't want to send out Toxicroak or anything that's going to have to take a bad switch. But that means that half of our team has a pretty good answer for him. And I think that Leaf Storm, Heat... Leaf Storm and Aurasphere are one shots. I'm, I if I remember correctly, they're like definitely one shots, or at least 95% chance to one shot. Uh, Heat Wave is like high 94% health, so we're gonna have to play the Heat Wave a little bit, but we're totally gonna be able to do it. I'm expecting Rock Head, uh, in case he changes out some of these moves for Recoil. He might run Sturdy to try to get some damage in, but that's why I'm glad that none of these Mons. I'm hopeful that none of these Mons are gonna take one shot damage, but we'll just have to see. Uh, body press could one-shot Keldeo. It could. 
uh, which kind of makes me lean to Krozma. We'll just kind of see how the body, sh how the body, how the fight shakes out. And then uh, I'm expecting lefties on him as well to get that extra health in there, but you never know. He could run something different. Uh, he might go Assault Vest, honestly. He really might. Uh, and then drop Curse. He could totally do that so that he could uh, maybe take that fire hit a little bit better. Next up, we got Reuniclus. I'm kind of expecting Reuniclus as the main trick room setter because my team has the absolute worst time trying to kill this thing. So I'm definitely prepping for Reuniclus. I'm expecting Psy Shock, Recover, Focus Blast, and Trick Room. I don't expect it to do a whole lot of damage. I just expect it to try to stay alive and keep the Trick Room up. So we are looking at a two hit KO with Shadow Ball on Decidueye. And that's really what I'm kind of hoping for. I can't one shot this thing. I've tried so hard. So we're running choice, uh, choice specs on Decidueye, sorry about that if you guys heard my computer go off just there. Uh, we're running choice specs on Decidueye and Inteleon so we can hit really hard on these mons that can't go super slow. So we have a two hit KO with Shadow Ball, two hit KO with Dark Pulse, and then Necrozma is just kind of a good backup. He can't really hit Necrozma very hard, and Necrozma is also going to be running Dark Pulse or Night Slash. Let me check. Night Slash. We're running Night Slash and X Scissor, so we have some options there uh, depending on what we see. I'm expecting a Cobra Berry to protect from the ghost type attack, but if there is a berry that I can't remember the name of for dark type attacks, he might also run that. I'm also expecting Magic Guard, but maybe Regenerator. It just depends because I don't have a lot of status options, so he might run Regenerator to just keep this thing alive, get some health back when he switches out, come back in, set another Trick Room. But since he has multiple Trick Room setters, I'm not sure if he'll go that route. Uh, being a Psychic type, we really don't want to send in our Fighting types, so Kelio and Toxicroak are kind of out of the equation here. Next up, we have Trevenant who is going to be the other Trick Room setter with Trick Room, Poltergeist, Woodhammer, and Earthquake. He might run Shadow Ball instead of Poltergeist, but I bet you he's counting on me running items, so he's probably running Poltergeist. Unless he just doesn't want to risk <laughs> slowing down. Unless he doesn't want to risk the miss on a Pokemon that might only get one hit if Trick Room doesn't get up, right? So non-Trick Room, Inteleon's going to one-shot him with an Ice Beam. We're going to be good to go. We're going to go for that. And in Trick Room, we're going to go for the Rantus, which is going to be running 113 speed, which is just unfortunately a little tiny bit slower or a little tiny bit faster than Trevenant. Um, I might make a change for that because currently I'm planning on running Lurantis with the Expert Belt so we can get some more damage. I want to hit him with a Poison Jab, which is going to be super effective against that Grass Typing. Uh, but we might switch that to a room service so that he'll slow down in the event of a trick room and be able to poison jab that Trevenant. I think that would be awesome. Uh, but other than that, that's, that's that's really just kind of where we're at. I don't really have another backup for it. Uh, Decidue Decidueye and Inteleon really don't want to fight him because Poltergeist is going to one-shot Decidueye. I think Shadow Ball does too. And uh, Woodhammer is going to one-shot Inteleon and Keldeo, so really not a lot of good options. I don't think he one-shots Necrozma, but really we're kind of stuck with Lorantis. He, he kind of runs shop on our team, uh, but Necrozma does thankfully have a fire type move, so we'll just have to see. <laughs> Honestly, Trevenant's kind of scary too. We'll just kind of have to see there. Um, let me make sure I'm not missing someone. Yeah, I mean, Toxicroak's gonna do okay. Toxicroak also has Gunshot, so I'm actually gonna fill that in right now as our backup. So we'll have Lorantis, Toxicroak. Toxicroak's gonna get outsped, but if he's got enough health, he can come in. Next up, we got Rotom Mo, the fast Pokemon. I'm expecting Rotom Mo and Duraludon to come as coverage for if the Trick Room does, because they're bulky anyway. So if Trick Room does get off and they're slower, they'll live maybe get a hit or two off. Uh, but if they don't, they're the speed that can kind of combat our team a little bit and fight us. So I'm expecting them, but also a slower version of them, but they might, eh, it's just really hard to know. But if Rotomo comes out, my plan is Necrozma Heat Wave, two hit KO with Heat Wave. Poison Jab also does a lot of damage. We really don't want to send in our water types, depending on his grass move, but other than that, we're going to be doing pretty good. He's pretty equally defensive. He's going to be ground resistant, obviously. I'm expecting lefties on him. I, want, I think he's going to want to last and be quick. Next up, we got Duraludon. I'm expecting Draco Meteor. Flash Cannon, Thunderbolt, and Stealth Rock. So I'm pretty afraid, honestly, of the uh, the Thunderbolt. The Thunderbolt's going to one-shot either of our water types if we get outsped. So if he is a slow Duraludon and we're in Trick Room, we're going to be in trouble. And I actually think uh, Inteleon 276, he's probably going to outspeed Inteleon either way. Um, or he'd probably outspeed Inteleon in Trick Room. And he has a good chance of being able to do it if he's not in Trick Room. So it's just really hard to know. Uh, and then um, Keldeo is going to, again, same situation, really. So we're looking there at uh, Keldeo Aurasphere. Hopefully we can get Aurasphere out. We're going to out. Hopefully we outspeed. Uh, I believe, am I running Choice Scarf on Keldeo? Are we running Choice Specs? 
and lefties. We're running lefties. So I might change that to a choice specs. It's just really hard because Kelio's got flip turn. That's our, you know, he's Kelio's got a lot of momentum. So I like keeping that on Kelio. Uh, but the Orosphere will Oko. So, you know, Orosphere is a good job. Uh, Necrozma can come in. And I believe, does Necrozma resist steel? No, it does not. It's normal effective to steal, but it's got Heat Wave, and that's a two-hit KO, so Necrozma is a good kill, uh, good, uh, we're in kind of defensive Necrozma, by the way, I kind of mixed its attack and defenses between all its EVs, so they're all higher, uh, and he's a slower Necrozma, because Necrozma is running with room service, so it will slow down and go into, like, a medium trick rune mode and maybe be able to, maybe be able to undercut that Tyranitar and that Duraludon and that Rotomo. Uh, expecting that possibly even the Trevenant, but maybe it's hard to know with the Trevenant. I need to run the calcs on that. Uh, we can actually run the calc on that right now. It's going to be two thirds speed. So that times 0.67, uh, we're going to be looking at 130. So Tyranitar is actually still going to beat us. And, uh, that's unfortunate, but we have him here so that he can outspeed Rotomo if he has slow Rotomo. Because I am kind of expecting that. I, the reason I think he's going to do slow road to Mo is because if he gets Trick Room up, slow road to Mo is going to under speed four out of our six Pokemon, which means he's going to move first in Trick Room. Anyway, so Duraludon, yeah, you know, water types, not good. Tyranitar, obviously psychic types, not super good. Necrozma and Decidueye are going to be very, 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 very in trouble. Um, especially if it's a Scarf T-Tar. If it's a Scarf T-Tar, it's going to outspeed us to be able to take us out even out of Trick Room. But we are going to try to hit it first with Keldeo. I think it's going to be a little less damaging to Keldeo. And we can do a whole, whole, whole lot of damage with Orosphere. I think it's even an Oko. And then uh, Decidueye coming in with a Leaf Storm is also an Oko if we can get that off first. So that's sort of my thoughts here. That's where we're at. Uh, Toxicroak has a couple of bad matchups. The Water Types have a couple of bad matchups. But I'm really hoping that since a lot of our teams have a chance against a lot of his Mons, we'll be able to pull it off. We're just going to have to find out in the battle we're gonna cut to that here real quick though we're taking on cool cat again check him out i'm gonna find out if he's got a youtube channel or anything if he does his links will be in the description and i'll see you guys back here in just a second for the battle in we're here we're doing the thing i'm gonna mute the computer let's take a look at his team you guys watch the team builder he brought okay did i expect cough or Grigus? i didn't or runerigus i didn't expect runerigus or colossal that means he left uh he left trevenant and he left Ooh, Rotomo is here. Steelix. Okay. 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 We have a minute here. I think I still, I was pretty much planning to lead Decidueye no matter what. Rune Regis is going to also, okay. And Colossal is the one that I'm now worried about. Colossal is going to do some big damage to us if he leads Colossal. I don't know why he would lead Colossal. I'm still going Decidueye because Decidueye can Oko uh, Tyranitar, I think. Let me make sure I'm right here. Tyranitar. Uh, let's go with that set. Yeah, so we can Oko Tyranitar with Leaf Storm, and then we can swap out and we can Oak or we can Oko Rune Regus or Slowbro with Shadow Ball. So Robin's definitely our lead here. We send out a Sidewai and he sends out T Tar. He's got unnerved, so we're ready here. We're good to go. Uh, once again, Leaf Storm is going to be what we want to do here. So let's go ahead. It's going to lower our special attack, but we're going to one shot. Nice, nice start. So the Trick Room is scary if he comes here because we're locked in. Uh, we do do some good damage. We do do some excellent. Oh, Leaf Storm will actually Oko Slowbro as well with this. Um, we are minus two, so let's track that for now. We're minus two. So we actually, we don't have a guaranteed. We have Duraludon here. Duraludon, we are expect. Oh, Duraludon can one shot me with Draco Meteor and Dark Pulse. So our Duraludon answer is going to be probably Keldeo was the plan. So he's not going Trick Room right away, which is very interesting. Duraludon. Um, he has a really high chance to do some damage with Draco Meteor. Uh, we might not outspeed. Um, why is this? Yeah. Um, 197 to 295. Yeah. So we might not outspeed here. 
It just depends on what he goes for. We don't have a fairy type. Who's our backup here? We'd like to keep, I'd really like to keep Keldeo. Uh, Necrozma is also a decent chance here. So let's check Necrozma out against Duraludon. Uh, we'd love to hit it. Love to hit it with some heat waves and we're gonna take, we're not gonna take that any better. Okay, I think Lunicorn's gonna be our best bet. We're gonna go for the swap. He's gonna go for the Snarl. So he does not do very much damage, but he does lower our special attack and raises our attack. Um, is that two stages or one stage? That's one stage, our special attack is down. So let me update that. Um, running, I'm being smarter this time, guys. I'm running damage calcs. Okay, so we're still gonna one shot with Aura Sphere at this level. So let's go for Aura Sphere with our lefties. He's gonna swap to slow bro. So that's really, really, really bad for us. He's definitely getting the trick room up right now um we can't do anything to this he played me well into that i'm gonna flip turn to go into what we want to go into uh we're gonna go back into robin and hopefully he doesn't go first turn for trick room but he does okay so he's gonna outspeed me now but he has nothing he can do to me that's gonna one shot uh decidueye slow bro probably nothing he's gonna do to me that's gonna one shot so I think what we're going to want to do is uh, safely go for a Shadow Ball. He's going to come out to Colossal. He's going to just take that damage. Are we going to learn anything about Colossal here? We don't. Okay. So Colossal can probably take me out. Um, maybe not actually. Flamethrower. What about, uh, what about Heavy Slam or whatever? Um, oh, what's that one? Heat Crash. Heat Crash is the move I want to know. Heat Crash is going to do 81%. I don't think we want to risk that. I don't think we want to risk that. Um, I think Keldeo is still a really good choice here. Burn up. What does that do? Burned itself out. I don't know what that means. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> Pokemon move, burn up. You guys are gonna notice I'm not gonna, I'm, so I've actually done the math and if we win this battle, we're guaranteed to stay tied for second place in the league. So I'm feeling a lot of stress with the fight. It will thaw the user out if frozen. Interesting, he goes to Rotom Mo. Okay, Rotom Mo, we have a good couple of plans for cause I was planning on seeing Rotom Mo. Uh, Necrozma, Inteleon and Keldeo are all gonna do good stuff here. Why do Nikelion and Kelly are bad matchups? My thing moved funny. Okay, so we like Lorantis here. We like Lorantis against Rotom Mo. It'll do 70% with Poison Jab. Um, he's actually going to be slower than us. Um, and then we have Dark Cusco, the Necrozma. Let me go to Necrozma and check this out. Rotom Mo. Okay, he's probably not that. Um, he's going to do a lot more damage to Necrozma. So we're going to switch to Jab and Prey. We're going to take the Volt Switch. Okay, so he does get us with the Volt Switch. He doesn't want to stay in. He's playing good. I'm very stressed. We might not win. My personal record would be 1-1 one one if we don't win. Uh, or I'll be 2-0. Uh, but we're expecting some big stuff here. Trick Room is gone. Duraludon, once again, we want to get some Keldeo Aura Spheres or some Necro or some Heat Waves off. Um, he can't really do anything to Keldeo, but we also can't do anything to him. Uh, he's actually gonna. I'm on the wrong thing. Uh, Duraludon. He's gonna KO us with a Draco Meteor, so we want to swap to Blunicorn. Once again. We are going to see that Draco Meteor for 54. He's going to drop down. We're going to gain some health back. We still don't see what his moveset is. Does he stay in here? He has to know he goes down. He goes out to Rotom Mo again. Okay. Do we outspeed the Rotom Mo is the question. Probably not. We're at 252. This is probably his fast Pokemon. I think I'm kind of anticipating the Volt Switch here. Um, kind of anticipating the Volt Switch. So if he's going to Volt Switch, he's probably... 
Oh, what's he gonna do to us? Rotom Mo is probably... Man, you know, it's really hard to know what he's gonna go for here. I'm going to Jab and Pray. Jab and Pray is gonna be... And he misses the Leaf Storm. That's huge. So we're gonna Poison Jab. He might switch out. The, the only bad thing here is if he switches out to the Duraludon. But he doesn't, which is interesting. He's gonna go out to the Colossal. So once again, we're playing the Switch game here is what's happening. Um, we're definitely playing the Switch game here. He's probably gonna do Burn Up again, which is very, very, very strange. Burn itself out. Okay, so we're looking and he probably doesn't wanna let this go down. Let's come over here to this and say Colossal. So we're gonna do 20 damage with anything else, but we can also expect that two of his Pokemon are gonna take a super effective hit to Shadow Ball or Dark Pulse. And we have a really good chance to flinch. But they're all gonna take, I'm, I'm going Snipe Shot. He's going Duraludon, I should've expected it. Okay, Duraludon is out, and unfortunately, while we do outspeed most likely, he just wants to keep playing this game, and I hate this game. Uh, we are running Assault Vest, which I forgot that I had made that change. I was going to run Choice Specs, and now I'm not. Uh, so, how do we stack up against Duraludon? Duraludon Okos us with Draco Meteor. Has a... a 12% chance to Oko us with Draco Meteor, and we kind of need this Shadow Ball. We have Robin. We're going to do a ton with Ice Beam, and we're going to learn about his speed. Okay, we're, we do outspeed, and he snarls for whatever reason. We do 39%. We kill him with this hit. But we kill him with this hit, for sure. He's got, he's Assault Vest. He's Assault Vest to Raladon. He sacks Rotom Mo. No big deal. GG. There we go. We got two kills. Um, he did lower our special attack by one stage, which is important to note. We will go ahead and make that change right there. Okay. Okay, who are we looking at? We're looking at Slowbro. He wants to get... He wants to get it back up. He wants to get Trick Room back up. So we're going to outspeed him. Right now, we're not going to do anything great, but we're going to... I think we go for the flinch. We go for the Dark Pulse. Hope for the flinch. We get some damage off. He Psy Shocks, actually, which is very interesting. Um, we can get some major, major, major damage off on this. Uh, Psy Shock. I'm going to kind of anticipate the Psy Shock. And I'm going to go to Robin because he won't be able to hit us. He slacks off. That's perfect. He stays out. So we're looking at this and let's look at what's best for us to do with the Raladon because that's probably what he's going to want to switch to. Um... We're actually gonna Oko Duraludon, which doesn't make a lot of sense. I guess it's because it's Stab Shadow Ball and Choice Specs. Um, I think that he's actually a Salt Vest based on how much damage that did, but we're gonna be able to do a lot with Shadow Ball. So I think we go Shadow Ball. Um, the Poltergeist would also obviously be great, but it doesn't seem like he's running it. He's gonna go Colossal actually, which is interesting. So we're gonna outspeed Colossal five sure. So I'm just gonna do this because nothing he has wants to take a Shadow Ball. Nothing he has. And he's definitely not going to outspeed. Colossal's slow. I don't think Colossal has a priority move. Colossal at 36%. Colossal gets crit. Colossal, or Duraludon gets crit. Duraludon goes down. So we're looking at Colossal, Slowbro, and uh, Rune Regus. I think Rune Regus is at full health. How much do we do to a Rune Regus? A physically defensive Rune Regus is still going to take 106.8 to 126.2. I think we, I think we're doing good here, guys. We do have six Pokemon left. Uh, our Keldeo is not looking good. And our Inteleon's not looking good, but Keldeo does have the lefties. Inteleon's got that boosted special with the Assault Vest, so that's looking good. We do see the super effective Shadow Ball boosted by the specs go down. We have Slowbro coming back out. Why is Slowbro not a? Sl oh, Slowbro slacked off, not slept. Okay, so we're gonna see this. I believe this one shots this Slowbro. We're going to see, yeah, what if Slowbro has Assault Vest? If Slowbro has Assault Vest, we're not going to KO, but we do. And we see the, uh, the Colossal coming out. And guys, we are actually going to take a 6-0 sweep in this fight against Cool Cat. Big GGs to Cool Cat. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys thought of the team builder. I'm getting a little bit better with the team. I think we played really well this week. We did see a couple. We got four of our six expected Pokemon 
We did see a couple come out. He said, GG, I'll say GG back. That was a good game. We're now uh, three and two in the league. I don't know the week five results for the other people, but worst case scenario, we're in a three-way tie for second place in the league right now. The top four are going to move on to semis uh, in the playoffs. So we're going to see how that goes. We have two weeks left. We will be doing... Um, this battle wasn't due till next Tuesday, so week six will not start till next Tuesday. But you guys will be seeing these from me for the, at least the next two weeks. And we're going to see what happens. But thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys back here in the next one. Peace.